Hey everyone, it's hard for me to believe that I've done 50 videos already. So this is my 51st video. So, and that's also my age. So I was thinking, well, what could I do my 51st video on? And I decided since I'm 51, I'll talk about reversing chronic pain at 51 years old. Um, now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I have thoracic outlet syndrome, and I've had that since I was 18, so that's about 33 years now. And uh, I also have uh, chronic lower back and leg pain. I've had two lower back surgeries, and I did have one uh, thoracic outlet surgery like 22 years ago. So. <clears throat> None of that really turned out too well, and I've been in chronic pain ever since. Just my whole body. You know, it's, I've been told it's myofascial pain syndrome. I've been told it's fibromyalgia. Um, just entire body pain. And um, it, it's... It's, I've been able to make progress reversing it, but I've been working on it for three and a half years, and it's, um, it's just a very slow process, and you have to be very patient, and you have to be very persistent. So when I first started this three and a half years ago, kind of my quest to see if I could get out of pain, I did a lot of you know, searching the internet and the web, and I really couldn't find a whole lot of anything. I did find one girl who had fibromyalgia, and she said she reversed it, and but it took about five years. So this is a long-term process. And she said she did a lot of stretching and trigger point work, and I think probably the thing I do the most, I think is the most helpful, is joint mobility exercises. Um, they also call it dynamic mobility, just mobility. And basically, I've done some videos on that. Basically, it's, it's movement like this. It's not regular stretching where you just hold it there like that. It's you, you move in and out of ranges of motion like this. And you just you look for tension and it's just more important to do that every day you know day to day you don't notice much difference and in the beginning probably the first year I was miserable I had so much inflammation in my arms all the time I was you know you get worse before you get better but I just stuck with it I just kinda um, kept at it it's like you know that one Rocky movie, Rocky Balboa, where he says, you know, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. It's how much you can take. And that's kind of um, the approach I've taken. I just, you know, no matter how much pain I put myself into, I'd figure out where I went wrong and just keep getting back in there and getting after it. And that's, that's the reason I'm being successful, I'm persistent. And besides the joint mobility exercises, I do a lot of self myofascial release, you know, which is basically self massage. And I've done videos on that. And then I do a lot of vacuum cupping in the last probably six, seven, eight months. In fact, you can see, you know, cupping marks on my arm right here. I mean, the, the cupping's been very, very helpful and it helps decompress things, you know, and uh, years and years of chronic pain that I think the muscles just get all tight and they get kind of stuck together glued together and you gotta you gotta loosen that stuff up and um, I think the other thing probably the last thing is nutrition um, I don't take any supplements I've tried many different supplements over the years but um, they don't seem to help that much so now what I do is I just eat whole foods basically you know meat, fish, eggs, fruits, vegetables, you know, things like that. I don't need a lot of processed stuff that comes out of packages. Um, I, I think the movement probably is the number one thing that I do, the mobility exercises, you know. When I first started, I was like so tired. I was just, I, I couldn't even move my head. I'd turn my whole body. And, you know, now I'm getting where I, 
move fairly good. Better than I did for many, many years. So at my age, it is possible to start reversing this stuff. It just takes a long time and you have to be persistent. And one other thing too is I've learned to uh, develop pretty good intuition and trust my instincts. A lot of the things I do are not really, you know, in a book or a, on a video or whatever. I mean, you know, people will say stuff like, oh, you know, this top exercise for this or the top exercise for that. A lot of the stuff I do is not even really an exercise. It's just me moving around like a goofball, you know, just and you know I've, I've studied anatomy and I've studied movement I watch people move and if I can't move in the way I pe see someone moving then I know I need to work on that movement pattern and, and that's a lot of it it's movement patterns not just this exercise to isolate this muscle or that muscle I work on the whole body whole body is one unit that's real important work on the whole entire body in my opinion, that's been, I mean, I, I couldn't squat down for like 23 years without lower back and leg pain. And now in the last several months, I've been able to squat. And I find that the more I squat and the deeper I can squat, the, actually the better I feel up here in my, in my thoracic outlet area. And my whole, my whole body just feels better and looser. So yeah, a whole body approaches important in my opinion so um, yeah um, you know if you're someone that's in pain don't give up I mean it can be reversed you just have to find the right combination of things for you everybody's different alright thanks for watching you guys talk to you next time